did everybody accepted the term house music? I mean, where would you say the word uh, term house music came from? Um, it, it Look, when the older cats would go to see Frankie Knuckles at 206 Jefferson, right? Um, they would always say they're going down to the house, right? Because he was playing this, this, this kind of R&B disco music. It wasn't necessarily electronic. Uh, but it was like this R&B. So the warehouse was, that was the warehouse. They was going to the house. When the scene, when we, when the scene, when the scene, as the scene was developing and the warehouse was closed and he opened up the power plant, take out the where, use the house to associate the culture with this type of, to associate yourself with this type of culture, right? It, it, per se disco, it's the warehouse music or stuff that could have been played at the warehouse, right? So when you see flyers, you see flyer, old flyers that say house music, house music, but there was more disco played in these parties. Now, as the world know house music, it, it, to me, after Jesse signed his release on and on, it wasn't the on and on that everybody was clinging to, it was the other side. It was the tracks that, as I said before in my previous uh, speaking, mentioned it earlier about me selling my records to track, it was the beats that you can have segues into some of these songs, right? Sure. And after a while, there wasn't that much segue into house records to disco records because the house record, the track itself had a harder kick. Right, so it made the disco record stand out. This is something Farley said on his own, right? Which is true. The the record, the track made the disco record sound, made the kick sound that much more because you had speakers, you had bass, you know how brothers is. We gotta have, we gotta have some bass. You can't be coming with no sure. tweeters and so I said we gonna. So you know, once that faded out, now house music is becoming a thing because every track, every song that came out had some type of moving or we call it beating some type of uh, rhythmic track that, that would make a dance floor go crazy. Uh, it, would, it may have a, a, a funky turnover. It may have a, a, a certain hi-hat pattern, or it just fit within the structure of that song, but it was always the beat that drove because the kick drum was driving the song. And every house record, especially in the early days, the kick drum was driving the song. So this is house music. This is the house music that we know today. And sometimes people get confused with this, the culture of house music started, the culture of this, the culture of it, yeah, it stems from the warehouse or the older, the older cats taking out the wear and calling all their parties house parties because the same type of music, it was, this, it was, an, it was an extension of that era or of that, of that time or of that music, of that scene, of that scene. So when, again, like I said to you, I got introduced to house music or the culture of house music in 83. It had been going on before then. Sure. Uh, but the sure. record, the record, the terminology of house, when you, can, when you uh, talk about the music, not the disco, but the music, your on and on, your five A's, your jacking with the, uh, uh, fucking with the drums, Steve Hurley's Jack Your Body, Tyrese's I Feel The Night, Mike Dunn's Dance Mother, you, Adonis on, a, on and on and on and on, all that stuff. That's house music. That's the that's music. That's, that's what it is. But that some is the core. Confused. That is the core because some people mix it up with the disco part of it and say, oh, that's Yeah, I music. noticed that. Yeah, I noticed yeah. that. Some people no, try to say, not. yeah, when you're talking about the history, they say, yeah, but it came from disco, but you're like, dude. Yeah. It started. It started in '73. Like, no, that's the we talking about the culture. Understand what culture is. Something has to be cultivated to become something. So this was the predecessor too, because right after that, Jesse sure. did Wayne Williams uh, Undercover and Fantasy, and Farley did Funkin' with the Drums, and Mr. Lee did Shoot Your Best Shot. I mean, all these records yeah. was coming out. So like I say, the disco part only a certain core group of people stuck with that part of the culture, so to speak. And that's what they play and still sometimes sure. to this day still play it, but it's all right. 